had any nervy enough end of the game tonight? Do you feel like it was a fair result? Yeah, I think Newry deserves something out of the game. Um, listen, it was a nervy, nervy end of the game. It was a nervy last 25 minutes because I, f I feel as if we, we contributed towards that. We made it a little bit nervy. Um, I thought we had weathered a little bit of a storm and we got our foot back on in, into the game. And, then Yuri going and score and equalise, um, and then after that, it's for me, it's a game that just turns into complete madness. Um, we should have identified at that stage that we needed to get back into some sort of a shape, but we didn't. We we went a little bit gung ho, um, as if we were trying to win it. We did look as if we were going to maybe create an odd opportunity, but we also looked as if we were going to throw it away completely, and that's the disappointing thing. It's the naivety of it. Um, we have to, as I say, game game understanding and game management has to be a little bit better. Listen, it's a, it's a result, we get a point. Um, but it's a game at half time that I felt we should have got so much more out of. I suppose it's, you're, you're looking there, trying to work out, is it a point gained or two points dropped? Hi, well at half time I, I felt we were comfortable. Um, I felt that we we should go on and win the game, or uh, if we manage it properly. Um, but we allowed Nuri maybe to battle us a little bit in the second half and, and we fell into that bit of a trap and we, we, we didn't get ourselves out of it enough. Um, in the end, it's probably a point gained. Is that just experience or is it attitude or is it Nuri responding well? I think it's, it's, it's funny. It, it, for me, it's a, it's, it, we have a great changing room. It's a, it's a very honest changing room. So I think it was like it's not that they were they were making mistakes intentionally. It was it was a case of there was so much honesty that they wanted to go and try and win the game and, and get back in front that they lost the understanding in terms of um, maybe we, maybe we lacked a little bit of experience, but we have to rely on experienced players at that stage to to get everybody to regroup, get ourselves back into our formation, get ourselves set up properly, and and, and get our foot back into the game, and, and we didn't do that. A couple of positive points from tonight though, um, Ethan Devine scoring twice. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Ethan needed, needed that as well. He's worked extremely hard, he's been great since he's come in. He settled really well in the dressing room, he's a, he's a lovely big big guy and, and, and he offers us something on the pitch. Um, I just felt I had a gut feeling tonight that tonight would be a night that Ethan could do well. Um, so thankfully that paid off for him. It's a huge positive. It's two good finishes and, and he'll take a lot of belief out of that too. And James Knowles back as well. Good to see Nolesy back. Yeah, it's, um, he's got himself into good condition. He's, he's worked extremely hard. He's, he's lost a wee bit of timber um, and, it's, and it's paying off for him. And Listen, it's, it's 25 minutes which, which he has under his belt. And, and it's good, to see, it's good to see him back. Rodney, next week we're home to Ballymena. How are we preparing for that game? Look forward to it. Um, another positive from tonight is we're, we're three games unbeaten. Um, albeit tonight feels a little bit like a defeat. Um, we're, we're, not, we're not happy with how the game panned out. Um, but we're still three games unbeaten, so we look forward to we look forward to Balamina. It'll be tough. Jim Irving will will have them fighting. They're fighting for their lives as well. So it'll be a tough game, but it's one that we look forward to. Yep. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. 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 Thanks.